Noble there offering Chris Jones, and he's going to take both players. Noble there has come back on the ice incensed after taking that blow earlier, and he wants to fight Chris Jones, and here comes Trevor Hendricks. They've got to let these guys go here. Yeah, Hendricks is going to come in for Jones, and away they go. Hendricks unloads, and down goes Noble. Still unloading. Linesman have got to get in there. There's Noble there, a bit off more than he could chew, and he wants more, but he's got his face on the ice here. And then Hendricks is in town. More often than not, that's where you're going to end up, John. Yeah, a, a couple of points on that, Alan. I think, and I like the fact that Noble is stepping up to make hits. He wants to challenge players at the blue line. And I like what he did there with Jones. But I think Jones felt the hit was maybe a little bit high. But Jones, he did uh, lead with a slash there. There was a clear slashing motion. Noble wasn't happy with that. And I can understand why Noble was uh, talking a little bit of trash there to Jones. But Noble wanted to continue it on a little bit more. Trevor Hendricks showing the collectiveness of the team stepped in there to take that fight and was maybe a little bit more battle ready than the noble noble took on the uh, the contest but of course hendrix is uh, is a heavyweight guy and obviously had the best of that so uh, like what noble is doing he is stepping up to challenge people on the blue line that might have been slightly high which is why smith was going to call the both of them certainly jones is going to get the slashing call because there was retaliation there and uh, hendrix is obviously going to pick up a fighting major we're going to see a call now. It's physical. It's Noble again, and in comes Lord. And here we go behind the net. Are they going to get a chance to break free as Lord just dives on top of Noble there? And Lord is just firing right hands in, firing away at Noble. And he didn't like what happened there. I didn't see who it was from the Devils. And Lord again with a huge right hand finds its way through to the jaw of Noble. And I think we're going to see Lord get tossed from this game here more than likely. But he doesn't like that. He wants to go. Yeah, well. Noble, I, I kind of uh, like the way he plays bigger than his size. He's looking to be physical, but maybe uh, I, I just think occasionally when he's hitting these guys, he's hitting them a little bit high. And something extends Andrew Law there, and he did jump in uh, uh, to a confrontation and uh, was was hitting Noble after the uh, the linesman got in there to to break up that scrap. So we'll have to see what the adjudication is, but. Um, you know, Noble certainly made an impression. He's trying to play in a in a physical way, and he's he's trying to stop bodies getting to that net. He's stepping up and and, and making hits, as we discussed in the second period. Valabic there for company, and now we get a little bit of a scuffle along the boards. Are they going to go? Yes, they are. Carl Hudson and Lawrence out of the box, and away they go straight away. Lawrence and H Hudson. Hudson, you're not the kind of guy that normally gets involved in this kind of stuff and Lawrence has the more experience and now he unloads on Hudson good few right hands but Hudson comes back now Lawrence with a good angle gets the punches in down goes Hudson and he's still firing away with Hudson on the floor but a good fight there Hudson there we saw perhaps earlier with Noble biting off a bit more than he could chew and Hudson they're not known for his fighting and Lawrence knows how to handle himself and he dished out a few good right hands. Uh, Hudson's a gamer, and, and he wanted that fight when he came out of the penalty box. He initiated the, the confrontation, but Carl Hudson, I think, has been split open here. As soon as Lawrence got that right hand free, he was throwing some bombs, and uh, he's a tough, tough guy, and uh, credit to Hudson for taking that fight, but, uh, you know, I, I said this about Lawrence in uh, earlier on in the second period. I think he's a, a, a bona fide power forward. He can play... Good. Walton. And Ashley Tate, who loses his edge, and shoots Walton into the pads of Stewart, Lee Salters, and uh, so Kevin Noble down there, pushing and shoving. Well, we had a, a little bit of uh, afters down in front of us there, Tanaka and Batch. Oh, still and it's still on going on. It's still Boris going Balabic on. comes in, and the gloves are off. Balabic Big Boris back. is on. He's not having that. You go and push the little guy around. Well, let's have a look at you. Batch just getting his arm free. Throws an overhand crunch at the back of Volavik's head. This is the first look the Blaze fans will have of Volavik in a scrap in Blaze colours. He's just trying to get an arm free. So far, Josh Batch has dominated the scrap. And eventually, just loses his footing. Volavik may have punched thrown. Kirkup, his opposite number. the Devils oh, oh and there's something going on down on the bench somebody's leaning into the Coventry bench and throwing punches well I didn't see what I can't started see that who it is I did not see what started that at all that's Salters again yep that's Lee Salters he is really kicking off 
Now Lord is really Lord. going for it. Lord's having a go as well. I did not see what started that. That seemed like a bit of a, a bit of afters. Wow. It was only, the, only the sound of the crowd uh, that alerted me to it, Ed. Yeah, me too. I was following the play. I think he looked like he was going after Kevin Noble again. Yeah, looks that way. He's got the puck off Josh Batch. Carl Lauzon on the backhand. Oh, he's clattered by Hudson. And now oh, whoa, Lawrence whoa, has fallen into what? Will. Oh. Someone's got their gloves off from the Devils. Boris is there. He's got to be careful, Boris. No, he's just going to say, pack it in. Kids on the floor. Oh, and it looks like the gloves are going to come off. Boris Falabek. Again, I, no, I'm not seeing him. He's fighting. He's he thrown does. a lot of punches at Josh Batch. Round two. And down goes Batch. He's still hanging in. Boris feeds him with another right. And another over the top. This is a real good scrap. And down goes Batch under the weight of all those right hands from Falabek. Well, Falabek told him not to. We got all of that on the replay, I think. Oh my gosh, Valamic is just panned in the helmet. Like a pile driver. Batch has gone down just under the weight. And a lot of them are hitting helmets. But when that kind of onslaught comes at you, Batch has done well to hang you in see there. See how he holds his head so he doesn't clatter it back on the ice. Yeah. You know what? You can say what you like about the guy. He went in to try and get him to pack. Yeah. Uh, and now we'll see what's happening. Looks like, I think. Malabic and, uh, and maybe even Batch could end up off. Certainly, oh, Batch yeah. is going. I don't know. I don't know whether that's because he's being thrown out or he's got some kind of extra penalty. No, on Boris's door. Investigation open and, as well. and and and. We'll have to wait. Doucet finds his way around. Doucet, that's a hit coming in right at the back by Fitzgerald, and here's Marsh, who's gone in to protect his forward. And his, uh, Fitzgerald got the better of the one. It's Marsh to the left. And another left and a right from Fitzgerald. Two Warriors. Fitzgerald's got a good tie up here. And the referee jumps in, but Tyson Marsh was not going to let him get away with that hit. Well, we know Tyson Marsh uh, occasionally sees the red miss when he feels he has to jump in and and defend a teammate and Fitzgerald got a good body position there but maybe the hit on Doucette was a little high I, I know a lot of people don't like Fitzgerald but I can't find his way through both defensemen there oh Moore keeps it in the zone possession back to Bray Heddock and McKeever yeah Farina and Britain have and was each other and they're gonna go Farina oh that's shocking there violence never seen such a thing in a nice hockey game before but they, they went for it there, Britain and Farina. Straight away, gloves were dropped by both players at the same time. And we've got a match now. <laughs> Trying to get the jersey off. The refs get involved somewhat prematurely there. Well, a little chat there at the end of that one. And that's certainly got the crowd energised now. This is not Tiddly Winks. This is definitely not Tiddly Winks. No. <laughs> it's amazing what a goal in the third period for the clan could do. It's changed the total complexion. Receive the pass. 
McIver just gets that one up. And then Henrik comes in, and just as we said it, here we go. We're going to get a fight along the boards as they get tied up. And it's McIver who comes in on Hendricks, who finished on. The... And both tied up at the moment. Hendricks will look to get that right arm free, but McIver's there. Just a little bit of chat going on at the moment. Big right hand it was from Hendricks. McIver got in too. And now they get loose. McIver with all that experience in the AHL and NHL. But Hendricks with the strength has him up against the boards. And we'll just get a break there. Two tough guys, two guys who know the code coming together there. That might not be the last we see of it. Good play from both men. This game could be a doozy, Steve. It could be. Big check by Fitzgerald on Farina. Certainly still out early. I'm sure he's heard about Farina's antics so far in this season. And he's not having any of it. Fitzgerald and Farina are going to go already. Fitzgerald puts Farina on the floor, early doors, and they're still going. Fitzgerald connecting punch after punch after punch. Farina's still going, but they're still standing. Hell for leather, Steve. Hell for leather. Hell for leather. And he's rocked Fitzgerald there, Farina. Well, I tell you what, he's taking some punishment there. Getting the helmet off Fitzgerald. Farina now is exposed. And they eventually hit the ice, and they're still going as well. Well, good effort from both players there. And that certainly got this crowd energised. Yeah, we've had a... Beach at the top of the circle lets one go up into the netting as uh, Valabic's going after a giant and he's really lost his rag with Chris Beach. Oh, Walls has just uh, looked as if he's tried to stick a Blaze player from the back there and now Downhill's getting involved. I mean, it, who was it? Chris Beach didn't look as if he was at all interested in that fight, and that you, you no. can't really blame him for you know Vlavic's considerably big, bigger and a, a, a known fighter, and Vlavic's absolutely lost it there. Well, I, I guess he's just trying to put some energy into the team, but uh, yeah. Chris Beach was happy just to play possum there, and it looks as if Walsh has been ejected. Power play. As we the get a little bit of afters and a little bit of a punch, and you don't like to see this after the final buzzer. Well, Joey had that uh, the buzzer went, and he did fire the puck on Brown after the uh, after the match. So, and Hotham again, he's the first guy out and there. And this he's is going to be this is going to be one for the dopes if these gloves fire come off, and I think they are. And there is Packhead is thrown him off, and they are going to go toe to toe after this buzzer. And the referees are just trying to get everyone else off the ice. And in fairness to both teams at the moment. And I, we did mention, John, to just let this happen about 10 minutes earlier to get it out of the system. You did. You made a good call on that. I still think it's a play that doesn't need to happen because it feels like I'm on Joey Haddad's case tonight. I'm not. But I thought the buzzer had, uh, you know, there, there was a, a second or two separation from the buzzer going and him firing that shot on the netminder. And uh, the Flyers just responded to that. It is tradition in hockey that you don't fire the puck on the netminder after a whistle.
little bump from David Phillips on the goalie. And Kyle Bigos took exception. The official sliding through to try and break it up. See it again, just a little bump between the two on the edge of the paint. And Bigos cleaned house and then let fly. And it was enough to give him a match penalty for fighting. That meant he'd miss the game on Sunday night as well. Left it up front, but now we're going to go in front of the net. Here it is, Hendricks and Lawley with the right. Hendricks is home with Janssen. Hendricks and Janssen tie together. Big right through Hendricks. He goes again. Huge bombs hitting the helmet of Janssen so far. Hendricks and Janssen, but we know the kind of stamina Cam Janssen's got. He'll go for as long as he needs to to get the upper hand, as we've seen time and time again in the NHL. Now Janssen finds his way back into it as he gets his footing. Big right hand from Hendricks. Takes the helmet of Janssen off and doesn't want the linesman in Jansen he knows he can go for a lot longer as Hendrick starts to tire and holds on to Jansen but Jansen won't want to finish this one he's pushing them away and Hendrick is having a hold on and now another big right it was and then Jansen with the right and now he fills in on the floor as well which I'm not sure we want to see that as Hendrick's no doubt gets the victory in that bout well great and uh, now we're going to see a bit here as uh, it's Tyson Marsh who comes in. Marsh is going to go with Bombach. Marsh unloaded. Sorry, it's Haddad. Haddad comes in, then Bombach with a couple of big rights to put Haddad down. And here we go. We're going to go here. Hotham and McMillan get tied up. They want to go. And the gloves are dropped. What a time to drop the gloves. Here they go as they've been out in a lot of the game. As McMillan fires some good rights on Hotham. And Hotham is down on the floor. We want to get back up. But the linesman come in. Let him go, you feel the crowd saying. Dumped in. Keith battling with no ball and the gloves have come off. Adam Keith just mugging he Kevin Noble. Did. You know why the lion judge is uh, lying all over Noble? Keith is the uh, agitator, the starter. Chris Holt heads to the bench. Klein will get the extra skater on the ice. Harper chips and runs. Has to work really hard. Flyers D worked really well to keep that away. Where is Paki and Harper? You mentioned it before there, Craig. They had a word. It doesn't look like we're going to get much out of this. The officials smothered that one early. You mentioned it there before, Craig. There was a word being had with Paki. Just an Harper determined to get a fight in. Well, they're not going to let the officials bring this one up. Backy coming in, and Tristan Harper, please help me off, gets the left here, Kent. Backy's down, he can't see much. The officials are trying to wrestle him away. Backy's still having it. Well, it was only really Harper that managed to get in the left jabs. The fans giving Tristan Harper, the Scott, the male model Scott, a round of applause. He wasn't worried about his features there. And Backy, well, we saw that coming, Greg. We certainly did. I can't help thinking that could have been a little bit better had the officials not got themselves right involved in it. As you said, they were quick to smother it. They could have just let it go. Both players were determined they were going to have a go at each other.
Bear gets involved with Berzic and Jones is going to go is he with Berzic here those two go Jones wanted a piece and Berzic is ready to go big right from Berzic it was and he feeds up and gets into Jones and down he goes and well Jones wanted that fight but you've got to say that was a high class display with a right hand from Berzic get that over Driving hard to the net. Oh, hang on a second. Andrew Lord locked up here. It's Valchuk and Andrew Lord, and now the gloves are gone. Some big right hands. Lord back on his feet again. Big wrestling match between two big, big men. And the frustration, in the end, just becoming too much. scrub over at the bench Farina is uh, going to town there looks like there's uh, a few punches being flung there DJ Keg looks like and Farina goes down underneath the Flyers player the Flyers fans in front of us like that a lot indeed he is delighted with that one, you can see that on the way to the penalty box. Both players. Everybody likes to see a bit of a, a barney, shall we say? <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. No. Yeah. I think he gets a takedown. Well, I think a good effort there from both players. They both know they've had a bit of action there, that's for sure. Davis up to the right side. Bruton. Maybe Nesbitt holding on to the possession and the Blazers have drawn another penalty. Oh, as Bobcek's gone in hard on his man and there's going to be a bit of a scrum. This could see the Blazers on a five on three as McKeever's got his gloves off and I think he has got a, a firm hold of Igor Bobcek. A couple of other guys in there as well. This is a. Uh, it's looking like Mike Hicks is uh, going to ask Eagle Bobcheck to leave. Yeah. Yeah. So that's not good news for the Coventry Blaze being down another man, another defenseman as well. Yeah, they, I mean, they have pulled Ross Cowley back to, to defend, um, to help share the load. But of course, Ross Cowley's in the box and now Igor Bobcek is not, he's isn't, isn't off the ice. So the Blaze are effectively two defensemen down for the, what you would envisage being at least the next two minutes. Some time. Chip it on in. Landed. Oh, a big hit on Fritch, and it wasn't the best. And the gloves have come off between Matt Keith and Carl Lauzon wants nothing to do with it. Lauzon's not having anything to do with that at all. He's, he's not. He's just, he's just, it was a big hit, but there was nothing wrong with it. It was a perfectly legal hit. Uh, um, Matt Keith has just come in. I, I don't mind that, you know, a bit of defending no. um, uh, uh, for, your, for your teammate. Um, but I'd, I'd be interested to see what the, calls, the call is made there because Hicks didn't have his arm up for a penalty. Brooks hits the line with speed. The clan's still on the power play for 10 seconds. Awesome. And that one will... Uh, oh, it's, oh, oh, and that's bad. Mike Quinnell down on the ice gets sticked and now we're going to have a little bit of a brawl, a little... That is good. If he's not getting a match penalty for that, then I'm going to be very confused because he... That's horrific. That he he's that? At, he slashed him over the back of the legs while he's down on the ice. He, there, there, is, there is absolutely no call for that. I mean, it, any incident that irks Ross Venus enough to drop the gloves yeah. then is, is pretty serious. He, and he, he has That's got to be straight out. Chris Bruton will indeed be... 
and the ice. that that is going to be a, uh, another reviewable one. I, I'm absolutely certain of you, that. You it, can't do that. You one. Ignore the backdoor play. This time, though, Patrick Levitt again. And we're going to have some afters here. Brooks jumps in. He grabs hold of his man. Oh, he's throwing huge right. Pulling Fox all over the place. Just clinging on for dear life right now. Eventually with the takedown. And the penalties will come. Fox will take a seat. shoots and it's not gonna get there and Lawrence is gonna be under the attention now of of Hendrix who's really not happy and Hendrix with a huge right to Lawrence's face Lawrence hasn't fought back yet and it'll be interesting to see what's called here uh, and here's the fight is Lawrence Lawrence and Hendrix and Hendrix is unloading on Lawrence Lawrence is hanging in there but it's Hendrix who's the aggressor in this one is it's right after right after right by Trevor Hendrix Lawrence isn't known for this sort of stuff, we should point out. Hendrix again, and this is obviously a hangover from the first period. Shot as Hendrix again, and loaded another uppercut, another right by Hendrix, and now Lawrence may be sensing Hendrix is tiring. I didn't quite see what started this, as Lawrence is trying to get a helmet off, and now he doesn't, there's a right by Lawrence. Uh, I think Hendrix is pretty done, no he isn't. Lawrence trying to get a right free again. And we're still going, Lawrence is trying with another right, but and I think this one is done. The linesman jump in and Lawrence is carrying on one. It's another punch by Hendrix, which is silly, but Lawrence should just leave it now. The middle, Trim will tip it, but uh, yeah, yeah I, and there's going to be a fight at centre ice between Havato and Quinnell. Mike Quinnell's first fight for the Coventry Boys. Havato landing a few right hands. Quinnell will bat him down to the ice with a couple of his own. And uh, I think it's safe to say you can give Mike Quinnell the decision after Havato started strong in a short but spirited bout. Yeah, the, and it, it all came from uh, from Quinnell's hit on Culligan. He came in high. He made he did make contact with the hel with the elbow, uh, and, and the Cardiff Devil. It was right in front of the bench, so they all saw it clearly. They, there was a, a, a quick discussion as to you know uh, who was going to come on. Havato stepped up and said, you know, this isn't something that we're going to be happy with in our teammates. I'm gonna I'm gonna step up.
a hit from behind here. Well, I think Patrick Valchuk will take happily to that. And here we go. We could be dancing it. Schmidt against Valchuk. Valchuk trying to get that right arm free and eventually knocks Schmidt down. And the big man tried to make a big impact there. He's a huge physical specimen. Eventually shoved into the penalty box. And the pair of them will take some time to cool their heels. Now an opportunity to skate in. Quick shot from Paul Phillips. And he's going to get a shot because you don't do that after the whistle. And here we're going to go. Stevie Lee and Paul Phillips. They lock up with one another. Bit of dancing on a Sunday night. Phillips goes down. Does well to get out of the way of a couple of right hands there from Lee who switches up now. And I don't know whether Paul Phillips didn't hear the whistle. But he's got a lot to say. As he gets dispatched to the penalty box. See this one again. The whistle had already blown. And Lee's not going to take too kindly to that. And we're up close and personal. Maybe a little closer than you want to be. Well, there was some battling going on, some sticks hitting off each other. And it certainly looked like, and you can hear the reaction from the Purple Army, it certainly looked like a punch was thrown there. Toby Craig just having a word. Doesn't want any more penalties before this period's over. A second has gone here now with just two left. The Giants looking to get it clear again, and there's more battling here. The gloves are down. Jamie French taking two hits to the head here now in the corner. I think it was Ganzak who dropped the gloves here with Jamie Fritch. The battle came, but both... Well, Jamie Fritch still has one glove on, actually. I think we'll both... Yeah, it was, it's Ganzak. Dropped the gloves there. Well, we mentioned that there, Craig. The tensions were starting to flare uh, in that first period. And, you know, people talk about these Challenge Cup games. Nothing kind of going on. And he's walking straight out there, Ganzak. He's not happy with that at all. This league with the league title being the, the prized possession that everybody's chasing. and. Here we go. Here we go. It's Hendricks and uh, Cam Jansen, round two. We saw them go earlier in the year, and Hendricks gave a good account of himself. But I'm sure that uh, Jansen was, uh, and Jansen throws a right and another right, and never really got going that one. But Jansen does throw a couple, and Hendricks and Jansen, Jansen still want to go. But once you hit the floor these days, John, the linesman and the referees have got to jump in, aren't they? One years. In front for Clarkson. Oh, I just lost an edge coming through. Couldn't pull the trigger. Kept in by McCluskey. Oh, Clarkson are going to go. It's Clarkson. And Fox, well, Clarkson doesn't look that interested, to be fair. And Fox looks worried. Clarkson and Fox. Fox is uh, jabbing there with the right hand. And uh, Clarkson's well, his jersey's coming up. And the hand is released. And he's down. A couple of right hands from Doug Clarkson. Down goes Fox. And a pat on the back. Well, took a while to get going. And once it did, it didn't last very long at all. And that has energised this crowd now. Doug Clarkson. And Mike Fox. Good effort from both guys. So two, 13 left in the second and well we were just seeing how quiet it was earlier on but a goal and a fight has certainly woken up this crowd now and both men will take a seat <laughs> and probably deserve a rest as well Flyers trying to move the puck round here on the power play driving hard to the net and once again, we're going to get some more pushing and shoving. And this one could go here. Players are down on the ice. Well, the linesmen are doing their best to separate them. It's 
three separate scrums here. Well, Devon Didiamete is dispatched to the box. I think he's going to get tossed out of the game here. He doesn't agree with it. A shake of the head. He's going to skate off the ice. Back into the locker room. Well, he carries on going here. Danny Stewart. The two continue to talk. He smacks the glass and Didier Mete is trying to jump into the penalty box. Eventually he's restrained. Well, the officials have done well off the ice there. Out of the net. Has possession back. Shot will come from Patton. And again, we're going to see some more pushing and shoving. And this time, Valchuk. Well, that was a big right hand that landed. And he's caught up with a couple of other players. This game has just threatened to boil over two or three times. And the officials do have it all on here. Using the boards. Fox with a cross check. Steelers wrap this one wide of the boards. Fitzgerald brings this one in deep. Fox comes across. It was a maybe a slightly high hit. And he and Fitzgerald are having a few words here. And are they gonna go? Well, Fitzgerald drops them, and Fox is trying to throw back, but goodness me. Got caught with a really big one there. Frustrated. Heavyweight's gonna go at it in the big blue 10 off the opening draw. We don't see this too often anymore, John. No, this is uh, this has got the crowd right into it. We've got some shadow boxing at the moment, looking to see if we can get into a grapple. Hendricks with a big right. <laughs> well, they want to keep going there, as uh, they should let them go, really. They are gonna let them go, and then the bomb comes in from Nickerson, but that misses, and both uh, Nickerson's uh, just holding his knee there, and uh, we're just gonna check on that. Stewart kicked out of the face-off circle. Sacchetti will go in, he'll take. 
Here we go. Stewart and Didiamete. Stewart in close. Devon does his deeds for the day. That's been brewing since the last time these two sides played here. And the building is jumping after that. Back of the goal for Leith Hammer. Leith Hammer bundled over there by Boyd. Oh, and a Boyd, well, that's a shove in the back there. And a hand in the air from the referee. And it looks like we've got some scraps as well. Flemington getting involved with Leith Hammer. But it wasn't either of those guys, it was Boyd and Farina. It was Boyd. He's shot Farina in the back, and I imagine that's a boarding call coming, and Lee Tamer's going to go over Flemington by the looks of things. Lee Tamer swinging his arms in the corner. That's Plews, sorry. Tyler Plews. Looks like both guys are tiring now, though. And Plews takes Lee Tamer down. Bit of excitement at the end of the second period then. So the referee with some work to do. Lee Tamer is heading to the dressing room. Plews looks mighty pleased with himself down there on the penalty box as well. Popped up Tyler Plews. Sticking up for his teammates there. And it's Plews and Boyd in the box for the Cups. Farina and Leitham are the same for the Stars. Well, Leitham is already headed to the room, dressing room. So some penalties coming in. Right at the end of the second. And when it eventually does finish, we will chat to Mark Lefebvre, the Stars head coach. For Plews. And Leitham up. Going for it in the corner. Good strength from Plews there, holding off Lee Hammer who was swinging and eventually he's taken down. And that's a win for Plews in my book. If you can call that a win. Just kind of fell over, I suppose. But a good, exciting time here on Dundee Stars Live, isn't it? I'm sure you'll agree. Be in his bonnet here along with Joey Haddad and then Lord Battles down low. Then we get a cross check for Sheraldon. Haddad, and now we get a melee in front, and Fitzgerald has dropped the gloves with Haddad. Is that out there? Trevor Hendricks, Trevor by Hendricks. apologies. Hendricks and Fitzgerald are going to go, and Hendricks goes down. Away. Whistles wide of Marek Pincher. This is such a fascinating match. A big hit again in the corner. We're going to see a bit more here. Yo, Debbie Ed is on the ice. Josh Batch is there, and he's ready to go with he with Fitzgerald. He Fitzgerald and Batch. Batch with the bomb, but then Fitzgerald comes back. The helmet is loose. Of Fitzgerald, good uppercut as Batch tries to regain some control. Big right hand from Josh Batch right through of Fitzgerald, who's in his second fight of the night, as Batch goes toe to toe with one of the league's top heavyweights. But he's in that class too. A huge uppercut as well as Fitzgerald has felt these bombs from Batch. The punch count is with Fitzgerald, but the quality was from Batch. What a play from Josh Batch there. Fitzgerald will sit for five more. Four. And there is Boris Valbach. Getting involved with Nico Sacchetti. There goes the man of the match. Oh, there we are. Yeah, he's lost it in about five seconds. That's you, that is. You've caused this. <laughs> Same man of the match. Yeah. I think he's going to be thrown out for that. And he's off. He's done for the night, is Boris. The whistle will eventually go now. Hewitt and uh, J Jordan Petrus down by the benches yes. are going to fight. And Jordan Petrus has landed a couple of big right hands. And uh, Colin Eddy decides he wants to join in with the fun. Much to the ire of Boris Valabic who has been fighting despite wearing the uh, full face visor. Him and Fitzgerald are involved. Steph Hogarth is uh, not keen to let the two heavyweights dance by the look of it. Trying to calm the game down, probably quite right. To 
trouble on the penalty box as the ice is a bit dodgy there. He'll drift in. Nice work. He's got Stewart to bite. And Vestberg will tap it in, which has been washed off. And there's going to be a fight. Uh, Vestberg, I don't see who it is for the Blades. I think it's Petrus who came off worse in that battle. Uh, Zach Fitzgerald, excuse me by the look of it, will be drifting towards the penalty box. Yep. Uh, wow, I... Hogarth had his arm, Stefan Hogarth had his arm up, it was a de the, there was a delayed penalty on it, so, uh, uh, and it was on, it was on the blaze, Brad Day was making his way off the ice. Uh, Peters has tossed his helmet on the way off. Yeah. Ooh, push and shove house in front. Might go here. Valchuk is getting involved with Wetmore. And Valchuk now starting to throw the rights as the linesmen jump in. But he's all wound up and these two aren't stopping yet. Gets a standing ovation. Fans are on the feet here. There's a fight going on here. Here we go. We're going to get a battle on the bench. Batch has jumped in as well. I'm not sure who was off. We'll try and see what we can there. I think we've got Keith and Batch somewhere in there. We've got a melee on the floor as well. What is happening here? And where did this come from? Hendricks is waiting to unload. He's got a man down on the floor. We'll try and get a number. I think it's David Rutherford down there who's just keeping down there and away from the punches. I'm not sure we saw any fights actually break out in the end, Gareth. But we might still see something if the officials allow the players to get things off their chest here. And you felt this one was boiling as well. We'll just stay with the action for a little longer. That's Luke Piggott involved in there. And the Devils will take that trade all day long. Luke Piggott getting involved physically. Bit of a bump behind the play. And then we get a, a good hit there. And Batch is going to drop the gloves for Keith here. They're going to go. Batch steps straight in there. The hit from Keith. And round two between these two. They had a big fight last year. Batch gets the other hand. Right hand bombs in on Keith, who stands up tall to Josh Batch. Then a big upper get from Keith. And then an overhead shot from Batch. Then Keith comes back well. Bombs from these two Warriors here. Batch steps straight in for his teammate there. Keith then comes strong at the end with a good right hand. But what a play from Batch as well. Two guys, two Warriors there will await the calls. There might be an initial one on Keith. Peters. He shoots. Oh, a good stop from Murphy Lauzon to the hash marks. Robinson. Oh, and it came through and the Blaze couldn't finish. There's going to be some pushing and shoving in the crease. I don't think this one is done as Bruton throws a haymaker. Vandermeer throws a couple of his own. The gloves have come up between Bruton and Vandermeer. Vandermeer and Bruton exchanging punches. They kind of cuddle and tie up now. Vandermeer tries to get an arm free. He lands a good left hand on Bruton. I don't think he's sure if he can fight or not. He's going to throw a couple, both uh, exchanging punches. Vandermeer with the right, trying to get it free. Bruton, I think, just tying Vandermeer up. And I think the linesman will be quick inbound, although it carries on a little bit. Vandermeer shoots a couple into Bruton, and he'll bat him down to the ice. Bruton looked gassed, didn't look like he had anything in him. And a good fight win from Vandermeer. One way to just show how frustrated the Coventry Blaze are after that one. Five tweeted Domino's UK. A match made in heaven, they said. Oh, and a scrap. It's Didi Omiti and Farina. And the helmet's off Didi Omiti, I think. And Farina having swings at that one there. But you know, Didi Omiti did not look interested at all maintaining the discipline there. And Farina still going. And now he's having a pop at Phillips while the linesmen are involved as well. That oh, is not the best idea from Farina, and it's all kicking off in the face-off circle. Farina's still going, and he's not obeying the linesman's instructions there at all. And, uh, yeah, some people have woken up here. They certainly have. So that's going to be extended discussions there, and I imagine he's going to get more than a two-minute penalty. Trying to inject some life back into the Dundee Stars here. Two goals down with 6.49 to go in the game. And Farina is done for the evening. And he's trying to still have a go at Phillips there. <laughs> Phillips not having any of it. And Farina heads off to the dressing room.
Pasquarini are really not happy at all there. Uh, Davy Phillips not happy either in the penalty box. Have a look at this one. They were already gone. Didio Miti did not engage at all there. Farina swinging the uppercut in there as well. Farina raging about something. Phillips just trying to pull him off. And then those two have a go at each other as well. And then the linesman get involved and Farina just, he just didn't stop. He didn't stop up. Not a happy bunny. Davy Phillips, I think, is also heading in the direction of the changing room, and he's still not happy as well, you know. He's got words for Wellie Wet, Morristar's captain, and he's heading off as well. And Mr Craig has his little notebook out. I don't think one page is going to be enough. <laughs> Phillips is still raging over there. Passion running high in the Dundee Ice Arena this evening. And uh, yeah, that little notebook is uh, red hot this evening, Mr. Craig's little notebook there. Unless he's uh, taking the number of the penalty box attendant there, I'm not sure. Did you meet your head in the box? Go on, Dixie! Clan D men pick it up. Harper. Offside call there. Harper now having words and Harper drops the gloves here. And it's a full on fight in the corner with Harper. Kalesnikov just holding them off. Uppercut here come now. Another uppercut from Harper has his man down. And they're still going at it as the officials pile on. Well that one has to go to Tristan Harper there. A spontaneous bout that happened in the corner. The Tristan Harper takes in the applause. Find McDonald. We're going to have a fight behind the play. Cam Jansen's dropped the gloves. I think with Kevin Noble. Jansen gets his right arm free. Throws a couple of punches up high on Noble. Noble's just trying to protect himself here. Jansen with a good right hand. And Kevin Noble stays on his feet. You can all Cam Jansen in that fight. Well, a couple of people at home who've tweeted in wanted to see uh, Jansen versus Volabic. We'll have to settle for Noble instead. And that one was all the Panthers, man. Dickerson and Hendricks. And I think they're just going to go without the puck being dropped. And that means they're both going to leave this game. And uh, Hendricks is maybe going to have a... Uh, a bit of a, a talking to after that because they, if they had waited for the puck, they would have just sat five minutes. I think both guys are going to get chucked out now. Nixon Hendricks with a left and another left and a right. 
And well, Nickerson wanted his scrap, but I think maybe you'll regret it after the end of that one. Down low.